more more far right than ever because after two regional elections, the far right AfD and the we can say also wide party Freie Wähler or Free Voters have reached new highs in in the in, in their election or in their wins. So what does that mean for Germany and also for the German government? Hello and welcome. This is Beside News with me, the European. And I don't know if you heard that because we know that it's happened very much this week, but we will here at uh, BMN will focus not on the breaking news, we will focus on the news beyond the mainstream. So if you heard something about the regional elections in Germany, this was very not so the important topics, but it is for Germany very important because of a few things. Firstly, two parties have won a huge number of voters and also a huge number of percentage. So this means that, um, for example, um, two regional elections were held in Hesse and Bayerwea, or called Hessen and Bayer. And in these two regions, the AfD have reached their biggest um, wins in elections in um, Hessen or in Hesse, they got 18% and in Bayeria 15% and they are in both um, regions at the second place in the election. And um, in Bayeria there was also another right party, the Free Voters or Freie Wähler in German. And they also reached their biggest uh, percentage and their biggest voter share in an election. And they got also around 15%. This means that in Bayeria the far right or right parties have gotten 30% of the vote. And this means also for Germany that this is very a big problem because when 30% vote for a white parties or they are soft white, then there's something wrong. And we know that the party who have won the election, the CSU in Bayeria, they got um, 37%. So not so much more than the right parties. But um, in, in Hesse, there's a little bit different view uh, because um, they got the CDU um, 35% and um, the, the AfD or the far right, they got in, in the sum also 20, 22%. So more than the Greens, than the Social Democrats or the Liberals or the Lefts. And the same in Bayeria. So. The, the biggest um, thing what um, everybody know because of this election is that Germans are thinking that their, gov that, that their incumbent government is bad. But in the regions, they vote for the incumbent governments. So the Greens, for example, has a lost um, 4%, but they can also now govern theoretically with the CDU because the CDU has gotten these 4%. So there's no change in the power only when the parties are a little bit changing. But independently or at the end, there was no change. Also in Bayeria, because the CSU lost 0.2%, so it's not so much. But um, their coalition partner, the free voters, got 4% more. So there will be a little change. And um, But what this means for whole Germany is that very few Germans or a very huge number is is afraid because they thinking that the government is don't doing what they want. And yeah, it's in every state the thing that you have people who are saying, oh, our government is very nice, we love it, they're doing a very great work. And you have people who are saying, no, it's wrong. These people are doing the worst for our country. But um, we have now can see that in Germany, white parties have a big water share and they can have the potential to win an election because we have next year the EU election and regional elections in Eastern Germany. And this will be very crucial because in some parts of Eastern Germany, the AfD have, is, the, is at first place in the polls with over 30%. And this could be a very huge risk when on the regional area. And Everywhere in your village, when there will be a forward party, the biggest one, because then huge things can happen also to the region 
and to the state because the people don't trust the state. And um, for that, the actual government uh, from SPD, um, FDP and Greens, so we have the Socialists, Liberals and Greens, they must work together. But what would we know or what we can see now is that, for example, in terms of, I don't know if you heard it, in Germany you have the 49 euro ticket. With this ticket you can travel across Germany by train, by regional trains and um, by bus in whole Germany. But what we can see now is discussion about this ticket because uh, next year they, the German train um, service, they need some money from the government to, um, to say, okay, we can hold this ticket. But now the liberals are saying, no, we don't need this ticket. But the, um, the Greens are saying, don't, we need it. And then there will be a fight, so a, a political fight about this. And this discussion is not behind the door, it, it's openly. And this is the biggest problem of Germany's government today, that conflicts are not held in behind the door, they're doing it outside of the door. And then the people are thinking, okay, our government don't know what is important for us and um, they don't think about us because this 49 euro ticket is very important for people who must travel every day by train or by bus. So for them, it's a lower price than ever. And why is the government don't saying, yes, we will finance this ticket. So and this is one reason why people vote for AFD or for other right parties. So when the government see this and they saw this election results, then they must change something that the Germans will not vote against democracy and also for a far right or right wing um, election win for the right parties. So this was Beside News, see you next time and thank you for watching.